if you want to build a great business, a great wealth management business, there's one key driver of success that you need to explore. That's forming strategic alliances with other professionals, accountants and attorneys. When we survey the affluent investors with over a million dollars or more, and we ask them how they found their primary financial advisor, 54% report they found their primary financial advisor through another professional. When we survey financial advisors and ask them how they got their top five clients, 61.9% report that they got those top five through another professional. In this short video, this episode of CD's Advisor Edge, I wanna share with you what you need to do to build powerful strategic alliances. I'm John Bowen, CEO of CED Worldwide, and you definitely don't want to miss this if you want to accelerate your success even more. The CED Advisor Edge. Essential insights. Real results. Strategic alliances can be extremely powerful with many types of professionals. Today's video, I want to share with you really the opportunity with accountants. I mean, strategic alliances with CPAs can be a gold mine for financial advisors if you know what you're doing. See, so often many of us are right next to the gold mine, but we don't know. I'm in Silicon Valley. You know, the gold mine, uh, the gold area of California is just down the road. What we need to do is understand how do we mine this to have the success that we want. Well, let me share with you. The very first thing is to understand that most advisors struggle to create successful alliances. And you're going to hear a number of self-appointed gurus to our industry tell you that they don't work. I can tell you that I've raised hundreds of millions of dollars, over a billion dollars of assets through very powerful strategic alliances. You can use those to accelerate your success and achieve whatever goals, but you can't do it like everyone else does. Why? They, so many advisors fail at this. And one of the key things is that you have to build trust and empathy. Empathy is all about caring. You ha they have to know that you get them, that you understand them, and that you can really create tremendous value in working with them. So often, what do we want to do? We want to just go out to lunch. All of us have done it. We go out to lunch with another professional. We have a great conversation and we talk about ourselves and how great we are and different from all the other financial advisors. I can tell after interviewing so many of the CPAs, you know, they can't tell the difference, much like we can't tell the difference of them. And what happens then is, you know, we're, we're just so excited we leave because there's a promise of working together. We get back and if you have partners or teammates, do high fives and, you know, boy, this is going to be great. But you wait by the phone and nothing happens. And what we really need to do is we need to have that empathy so that we understand their practice and what they're looking for. And one of the ways to do that is to know their challenges. So what are their challenges? Well, just like us, you know, we talk about the commoditization of investments that are going on. They're having it. They're having even more not in the commoditization of their services. And they're even having more fee pressure. Uh, the 2008, 2009 beat down their fees tremendously. Many are struggling because of the intense competition, not only of fellow CPAs, but other types of professionals going into their marketplace. Uh, the brass ring of becoming a partner is no longer as attractive as it once was. So hiring is a major challenge. You know, young people don't want to uh, work the grind that it takes to become partner because what we find and when we survey 
partners, you know, many of the partners of boutique, um, lifestyle, regional firms, they've always thought that they could sell their practice back to the firm or to their fellow partners. And I can tell you, there's many cases where there's very little value. Be, and, and when somebody wants to retire, they say, just take the clients with you. It's a very different than what we have as financial practice. The average accounting firm on a discounted cash value is selling for about 85 cents on its revenue. So if they can be acquired, that's what they're selling for. But it's, it's a very different market. But they face many of the same issues that we do. So one of our jobs is to, if we're gonna form strategic alliances, is anticipate their concerns. You know, they have concerns around the financial side, the legal side, and the structural side. Our goal is to make it easy for them to say yes to work with us. Because if you do this well, you're gonna enjoy a landslide of referrals. See. Among CPAs, they ha are, have the largest number of clients. If they have a tax practice, the number of clients for every million dollars of revenue they have, we see that advisors over a five-year period are converting $100 million in assets through strategic alliances. I mean, this is a huge opportunity. It is indeed very much a landslide of referrals. But you have to understand what they want to achieve and then have a systemic process to put this together. If you'd like to form very powerful strategic alliances, we'd be happy to take you through what we call the best year ever consultation process. So this is how can we have the next 12 months of your career be the best ever and provide a foundation so you can continue to build from that. There'll be a link either below or on the side, depending on where you're seeing this video. And go ahead and click on that if you have a net income of 200,000 or more. And this is really important. You know, we're not right for everyone and strategic alliances are only right if you're already delivering a pretty good client experience. Okay, we can help you deliver it even more, but you have to have that experience to work with the professionals. So what we would do is, you know, click the link, schedule a specific time that works for you to meet with one of our, my teammates, and we'll take a look at where you are, where you wanna go, what are the gaps, and what would we do if we were in your shoes to accelerate your success even more? We're gonna identify the three things that we would do. We wanna keep it simple and elegant. What would we do to accelerate your success? These have been invaluable. And then we'll also take a look as if we can make a major impact in our coaching programs to accelerate your success even more. We're not right for everyone, but if we're right together, that can make a huge difference. See, your clients, your future clients, and your future strategic alliances, they're counting on you. Don't let them down. We wish you the best of success. The CEG Advisor Edge. Essential insights. Real results.